What's up everyone? Welcome back. So today we have a really exciting video going on. I am going to share with you the box that Influencer sent over to me, which is absolutely amazing. I love Influencer. They're so great. I opened this box and was so excited by how many goodies were in here. This is my favorite box so far that I've received from them. So let me go ahead and show you what was sent over to me and I'll also let you know the pricing on everything. The first thing is the Saturday Skin. It is the Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. This retails for $39. This packaging is so cute. I used this moisturizer this morning. I wanted to be able to tell you guys how I liked it. This is what it looks like. How freaking cute is this packaging? And the top is like a little water drip with like the holographic print. It is what I'm wearing under my makeup right now. I am so excited to continue using this. It has a very gel-like consistency, which I love in my moisturizers. Like I'm a fan of the Tatcha Water Cream and the Belief Balm moisturizer. So as you can see, the consistency is very kind of gel-like and that is just my favorite. It absorbed so well into my skin. I'm excited to continue to try this product out and see how it works for my skin. So just to give you a little background on that product, it is an innovative anti-aging water cream, delivers mineral rich moisture while protecting skin from free radicals with a symbiosis of science and potent ingredients, including Alaska glacier water, expert moist, Iceland moss extract, and Cha 7 ES complex whatever those are, but that's what it says. So I will continue to update you guys. Next, we have the Healthy Deodorant Sport Lux La Vanilla. I have heard this being talked about so many times and I tried it this morning and it smells delicious. It has the most clean vanilla-y. It's almost like a mix of your laundry detergent with a vanilla hint. It just smells so clean. So I was so excited to have gotten this because this is a type of deodorant I've been wanting to try out for a really long time. I won't be able to think of it off the top of my head, but I recently tried a more natural deodorant and it did not work for me. It actually, crazily enough, like made me break out under my arms and like at the sides of my arms and it was supposed to be all natural and I have never ever had that problem. So I'm excited to give this one a shot. I've heard nothing but good things about this. Used it this morning after I got out of the shower. This is obviously by La Vanella. It is the Healthy Deodorant Sport Lux, an award-winning aluminum-free deodorant, which is absolutely amazing. If you guys haven't researched anything about like the deodorants having aluminum in them, I would recommend you checking that out. It's always great to try to find a product that is free of those type of ingredients. Aluminum free that delivers high performance odor protection, bursting with freshness. This twist up solid is powered by clean natural ingredients. Technology to effectively eliminate odor and minimize sweat molecules while still allowing the skin to breathe. I am going to my Orange Theory Fitness class tonight, so Lord knows I sweat so insanely much. Doodle, I'm trying to film a video. Could you not lick yourself? Thank you. I will be putting this to the test here at like 6.45 tonight. This retails for $14, which is not too bad. And I feel like there's a lot of product in here. Last but not least, I saved two products that I am most excited to try. This is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color. I was too excited you guys I did open this up so it comes in a little crayon stick this is in the shade rose gold see how excited I am I just can't contain myself <laughs> it is so beautiful it's a twist up crayon it looks like this I'm going to do a little swatch on my hand so you guys can see it is like literally the most beautiful champagne-y color feels so creamy and it feels super blendable so I'm really excited to try this that retails for $29 and it says a versatile eyeshadow stick that delivers effortless application. Creamy formula is crease, transfer, and water resistant. Ooh. And wears up to 12 hours. The technique, apply all over eyelid for high impact color. Blend with a brush or fingertips. I did put on a little bit of brow. I put on some foundation, concealer, and a tiny bit of mascara just on my top lashes. That is all we have done so far because I did want to go in with this product. And also, the star of the show, when I opened this box and saw that I had this product, 
I literally about fell out of my chair. I was so close to buying this in Ulta the other day. Look at how beautiful this packaging is. And once you see the inside, it is so much more even beautiful than the packaging. This is the Becca Be A Light, light to medium face palette. The packaging is so stunning. Look at how beautiful it is. It says Be A Light on the front, which I absolutely love. And then once you open it, it says on the inside, I don't know if you guys can see there, my camera's kind of in the way. It says Be In The Moment, and then this is the mirror, of course, with Becca's little logo. But look at how absolutely beautiful this palette looks. So the Becca Cosmetics Be A Light palette retails for $38. This full face finishing palette is infused with innovative light diffusing technology that softly scatters light to blur, smooth, and even the skin, creating a photo filter effect in real life. It features our brand new skin smoothing sheer glow filter powder in four different finishes designed to blur, brighten, contour, and add a radiant flush of color. It is actually available in two palettes to cater all skin tones, light to medium and medium to dark. I am so excited to use this palette with you guys on camera and we're gonna see how it works. Is it worth the money? Is it not worth the money? The packaging in itself is just beautiful. Like I said, I mean, I'm a sucker for packaging. I can't help it. What we are going to do is try out this Laura Mercier eyeshadow stick first. I didn't put anything on my eyes except for concealer because I didn't want to put a powder down first and then try to go in with this. We're going to be brave here. We are just going to go in. You know what? I'm actually going to use my finger. Okay, the first thing I'm going to say is this would be a perfect product for somebody like me who travels because how easy. You literally just can put it on your finger and pop it onto your lid and it looks beautiful. I really, really, really am in to shades like this as well. Like this color of eyeshadow is right up my alley. This is typically the color that I gravitate towards to put onto my lid. Wow, that is so beautiful. I really, really, really like this. I am gonna try just applying it with the stick and it looks like it's going on totally fine. So again, I didn't put a base down or anything, which might have helped if I went a little bit more heavy with a concealer or use like my MAC Studio paint pot but first impressions is that it went on so easy it blended so easy i can't wait to play around with it a little more the other thing you could do with this which would be amazing is probably just pop it on your lower lash line you could use it to even like highlight the brow bone up here this is going to be an extremely versatile product that is literally beautiful right there on the brow bone and then just use your finger to blend that out. This is definitely a product that will be going into my travel bag because that was so easy and just brought so much light to my eyes. You can even pop this in the inner corners. Already sold on that Laura Mercier product. I'm gonna have to go see what other shades they have because I will be getting more of these. All right, so let's get in to the product that I am most excited for. I put on my foundation, I put on my concealer, I set underneath my eyes a tiny bit just because I am a creasy devil and it 100% would have creased up on me like that. So I put a tiny little bit of setting powder over the concealer on my under eyes and everything else I wanted to save to go in with this because I am dying, I'm, I'm dying inside for this palette. Okay, I am going to go ahead and go in with this shade right here. And honestly, you guys, I'm just going to dip into it with a powder brush like this. And I am just going to set down my entire face with this powder. Okay, 
Okay, so it looks like it's setting down my foundation really nicely. I'm gonna pick up my shade and light brush by Kat Von D and I'm going to pick up this lighter shade right here and I'm going to put it up underneath my eyes to really brighten up this eye area. And I might pop a little right here and on my nose and right here just to bring some light back into that face. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this lighter color for you guys. I feel like this is more of an all around powder, more so than a highlight. My face literally does look like it has a filter on it right now. These powders are working so well. I'm gonna take this pointed blush brush right here and actually use it for my bronzer. So I am going to dip into this shade right here and work this onto the cheeks. In my opinion, like this is way too big to be a blush brush, but I mean, whatever you do, you know, I like it better for bronzer because it's so big and fluffy. I'm really liking this bronzer as well. And then we are going to pick up this blush right here. Looks so beautiful. It has a little bit of shimmer to it. I wish that the camera was picking up more of how beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm not just saying this because this was sent to me. I give that disclaimer all the time. This is one of the best face palettes I've used in a very, very, very long time. The powders just really made my face look so natural. Like I said, I wish you guys could see a little bit better on camera. Let me zoom you into my actual face. I'm not loving, loving, loving my foundation today, so let's not talk about that. But I mean, you can see the glow through here and the blush and the bronzer. It's just giving like a natural sheen to the face too, which I love and it doesn't feel powdery on the skin. I'm going to pop on a highlight really quick because I just feel like that is needed for this look. I'm going to go with that golder shade of eyeshadow I have on and pick up the Amorese Highlighter with Anastasia. And I'm going to pick up my Anastasia A23 Highlighting Brush. That blush has a little bit of shimmer in it, like I said, so the blush really made my face pop. Those were all the products that I got sent over to me. I am in love with this eyeshadow stick. It blended so well on my eyes. It's not creasing up on me at all. It looks so great on that brow bone. And this palette is to die for. I definitely think that these products are totally worth your money if you were on the fence about buying them. This is like one of those palettes that you can just throw in your bag and you have literally so much there. You have a setting powder, you have blush, you have bronzer, you have a little bit of highlight. When I go to travel, this is something that makes it so great for me to literally just pop in my bag because I, I don't really need to take anything else for my face. I have it all right here. The same with this eyeshadow stick. How much easier can you get? You could even use a tiny bit of this on your finger and just pop it onto your lips. I'm just a sucker for products that are versatile, that can be used so many different ways and that I can throw in my makeup bag and I don't have to worry about taking my entire makeup desk with me. Just stuff that I can have all in one place. As far as the moisturizer and the deodorant, I will have to let you guys know how it goes as I continue to use them. For something like a moisturizer and a deodorant, I want to use it more than one time to be able to give you guys a really all around better review. So stay tuned for that. And that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Come hang out with me on my socials. They will all be linked down below. As always, I will link all of these products down below so that you can go check them out with ease. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.